The following video is meant to be light-hearted and a bit of fun, so don't take it too serious. Sit back, relax, and enjoy this. Hello there. Um, I've been criticised, and I get criticised quite a lot, and probably rightly so, that I mispronounce Thai words really badly. Um, I, I, you know, the tones in the Thai language, the Thai, Thai is a tonal language, and there's five tones in Thai, and it's pretty difficult to get the, to master the tones if you're a non-tonal language speaker, i.e. A, a speaker of a Latin language. But that's my defence. But I can tell you this much. I stand to be criticised for my bad Thai, but Thais get away with murdering the English language and no one says a damn thing. So I'm, I'm supposed to, by the way, this video is lighthearted, all right? So don't, don't get your, don't, you know, don't, don't get too upset by this. Um, but I'm supposed to pronounce the Thai language perfectly, but they can get away with murder. Have a look at this. Swimming pool rule and legulation. Swimming pool rule and legulation. Surely it's their swimming pool rules and regulations, but legulation? What the hell is that? Also, it's open at 0600 a.m. What's that? You don't need the a.m. because it's in the 24 hour clock and it's 10 p.m. Well, that's correct. Why put the AM when you're in the 24 hour clock? Take off your S-H-O-S-E. What the hell is that? S-H-O-S-E. No run. Surely they mean no running. Some examples there of bad English. And I get criticized for speaking bad type. You see, they get away with it. Why? I mean, that's the, that's the question I have. Why don't we enforce the same criticism, or why don't my fellow native English speakers enforce the same criticism on Thais when they mispronounce English as they do on me when I mispronounce Thai? I mean, where's the, where's the justification in that? I don't know. I'm at a loss. I mean, my wife would say to me, she's going to Sentan, Sentan Param Gao. Sentan, Sentan, you mean central. But they say Sentin, but we put up with it. They also call a motorcycle a motorsai. Motorsai? What the hell is that? It's a motorcycle. I could go on and on and on at how the English language is bastardized, but if I mispronounce one syllable in Thai, I have their hounds of hell at my heels. Yes, indeed. But listen, this video is lighthearted. I'd say that again. It's not meant to be in any way a, a critique, it's an observation. It's a pure observation. Somebody can ask, answer me the question. What, again, I'll say it. Why do we have to be completely precise speaking their language and they can do what they want when they speak our language and we're supposed to understand them? But that's the truth. I speak with people on my other channel every single night, the big picture, El Panorama. And I say, Kuntamnam Arai in the crap. And they look at me as if I've got two heads. Um, by the way, that means, what do you? what is your job? Probably doesn't mean what is your job because the way I pronounce it, but that's the way it is. But you see, they can say what they like to me in broken, bastardized English. And I'm supposed, to, I'm, supposed to, I'm supposed to accept it? No way, Jose. No way. I'm making a stand. I'm making a stand for the beautiful English language. We have to put our foot down. There's there's no such thing as a legulation. There's no such thing as H S H O E S. And maybe there is, but I don't know what they are. But I've mentioned this to the management here on more than one occasion that they should remove that sign and replace it with the proper spelling and the proper pronunciation. But so far, they have refused. It's a pain in the well. It's a pain in the proverbial because I, all I can do is try. And this is and this is another glaring example of bad English. Look at this. Full parking, but you see the symbol says no parking, but they say full parking because in their minds full parking means the par car park is full, when in fact full parking means it's fully accessible. I said this to the management as well, but they ignore me. Harry, is that bad English? It is. 
Harry even agrees. It's not even full. It's, it's a bomb park. Huh? It's not even full. It is full. It is full. They're trying to say it's full, but they're supposed to, they're trying to say there is full parking. In other words, in other words, there's parking available, but there is no parking available. Look, it's completely full. Yeah. So it should say the car. They should say the car park is full. So in actual fact, the car park is full, but the sign says there's car parking available, i.e. full parking. But in actual fact, it's full. How confusing is that? And why would you put a sign up blocking the car park saying the car park is car parking available when there obviously isn't? But there you go. So there's just a few points that I've pointed out of how there are double standards here where you're supposed to speak their language 100% and they can get away with bastardizing our language. So there you go. By the way, this is lighthearted. Don't get too upset about this. Uh, Harry's got something to say, huh? What are you doing up there? So easy. Tap, kids can do this. Tell the guys to subscribe. Subscribe. Look at the camera and say, subscribe to my daddy's channel. Subscribe. Say subscribe to my daddy's channel. Subscribe. Just subscribe. Subscribe, okay. Harry says subscribe. If you haven't done so already, make sure you do. And make sure you join me again for another wonderful video. Let me know in the comment section what you think. Why they can get away with it and we can. Hello there. Thank you.